Hey guys, it's Free Frame 91, and I'm talking about the PS5 specs. And here they are. Now I'm only gonna focus on three of them, that being the GPU, the CPU, and the internal storage. We see the CPU is AMD Zen 2 based CPU with eight cores at 3.5 gigahertz. And then we have the GPU, which is 10.28 teraflops with 36 compute units at 2.23 gigahertz. And the internal storage is 825 gigabyte SSD. Now, first thing I wanna talk about is the internal storage. I already said with the Xbox Series X that a terabyte is probably not enough. I understand SSDs are way faster than HDDs, but still, a terabyte is not enough. So 825, which minuses it by 175 gigabytes, definitely not enough in my opinion. And AAA games are probably gonna range around 100 gigabytes of space. Also, where did they come up with 825? That just seems like a weird number. Like hard drives usually come, I feel like in 512, um, 750, one terabyte. I know it's custom, but still, what were they like? Okay, how many gigabytes can we get? Uh, 825 is max willing spent. Okay, let's do that. But in any case, if you were to compare this to the Xbox Series X, then you would notice that there are significant differences. One in the CPU. The Xbox Series X CPU actually runs at 3.8 gigahertz. Not too much of a difference, but then the GPU is where you get to the real difference here because the Xbox Series X GPU only runs at 1.825 gigahertz, but has 12 teraflops and 52 compute units. So to me, I'm not sure so it's a little weird that this graphics card would actually have significantly higher gigahertz than the Xbox Series X. It, it would still seem though that the Xbox Series X is going to be more powerful in general when you, when you add in everything than the PS5. Now, perhaps this was strategy by Sony, not saying that they knew what the Xbox Series X was gonna do before the specs were revealed, but perhaps they were really going in looking like how much are we willing to improve on power and how much are we willing to spend? Because maybe Sony is trying to make this console as cheap as possible and undercut Microsoft again. Because remember last generation, they were able to really be successful because they were $100 less. Yes, they were more powerful, but they were still $100 less than the Xbox One. I really think that Sony this year may do that again. And with this amount of difference in power, I think they can significantly be cheaper than the Xbox Series X. I don't know what the prices are gonna be, but I'm just looking at this and I feel like Sony has way more wiggle room with their price than Microsoft does. I feel like Microsoft has really focused on power this generation and that may cost them. What I mean is that if they are $499 again and PS5 is $399, people won't care that the graphics card is basically two teraflops more powerful or that the CPU is slightly more powerful or that it has slightly more internal storage people will go for the PS5. So I think with these specs, they're not different enough that people still aren't gonna care as much about the price. I think that the price is still the most defining factor here because these are still deadly powerful consoles. These are basically like gaming PCs with these stats. So I really think that until the price is revealed, we're really not gonna have any idea as to who's gonna start off better when they come out hopefully this year. Anyway, what do you guys think about the PS5 specs, especially how they compare to the Xbox Series X? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, may God bless you all.